Hey everybody, welcome to Maine Wedding Buzz, and today we have our guest Sally Bates, and she's with the Trolley Museum, which, exciting news, they're going to be doing weddings, and it's a great venue, it adds a lot for backdrops, it's beautiful inside, and you can do a lot with it with tenting, um, just the trolleys, riding them, I mean, photos are going to be spectacular when you see them, so we're going to talk to Sally about it. Hi Sally, thank you Hi. for joining us. Thanks for having me, Foster. Um, tell me a little bit how you got started in uh, our, what I like to call our crazy world of wedding industry. <laughs> well, I joined the Trolley Museum uh, in 2012 at the beginning of the season as executive director and saw the potential for having amazing parties there uh, with a collection from around the world and uh, some of the most exciting cities in the United States. The backdrop is unparalleled mm -hmm. and the uh, photo ops are incredible. So we did a photo shoot and uh, which I brought along a selective sample of today and I think your viewers will see how could you not think about a wedding there. Exactly it's a beautiful space and I, I think some of the trolleys are Chicago, Philadelphia, I yes. Mean, to name a few. Connecticut, and, Boston, Boston. And this was in a movie, you said. <laughs> yes, that so. uh, was the star of an Otto Preminger movie a few decades ago. Uh, it's a 1900 Boston car. The uh, seats are dark green velvet and it's, wow. it's very luxe inside. Uh, we recently uh, used that as the shuttle for our speakeasy in nice. 2014. Um, so we can move people around the campus in style, um, have these behind folks or people can be hanging off them for their photo ops or we'll see it's in like the stepping slides, back in time almost. Yes, it's really incredible. That when you're inside one of these it almost seems like a chapel sometimes. Oh, wow. Wow. And uh, what's the history of the, of the Trolley Museum? The Trolley Museum was founded in 1939 by a handful of college-age men who were um, feeling very sentimental about the fact that that mode of transportation was going away in this part of the country uh, to be replaced by buses. So they rescued a car, a trolley car, from the Biddeford Saco Railway, and it became the first such car anywhere in the world to be acquired for preservation oh, and wow. interpretation. And we still have that car, 31, it's called the mother car. Oh wow, very cool. So you gave it a little name there. Yes. Awesome. And when, when you came up with the idea of doing functions on the space, because venues are something that I think Maine is in desperate need of, mm -hmm. and now we have a lot of them, but we need unique venues. Mm. And I think that that's where the Trolley Museum comes in, which, which is unique. It, there's you know, there's not a lot of places that you can have backdrops the way you're going to have with these trolleys and, right. and trains that are there. How did you come up with the idea of doing functions? Was it through corporate or through your own events that you've planned? Well, I have a history of doing events mm -hmm. uh, in another job, quite a, a very different job. But I know the potential that events have for uh, bringing people to a place and helping them appreciate that mm -hmm. place. And since we have such an amazing collection and we have a lot of parking and a lot of restrooms, so it was not much of a leap to say this can be great, you know, we're entertaining large numbers of the public on any given day, it's a wonderful spot for a family to have their own event mm -hmm. or a company to have their own event. And when, and when you rent the, the, the trolley museum, do you rent it for X amount of hours? I mean, how, what's, what's your time yes. parameters for events? Well, we're open to the public every day from Memorial Day through Columbus Day, okay. but we close at five. Okay. And so there are opportunities to segment different parts of the campus if an event starts late in the afternoon, for example. Uh, and in the evening, it's always available. Nice, nice. And then you also do other events because I know we've taken our daughter to the uh, pumpkin patch where you ride them into yes. a little pumpkin patch, which is a really great little um, event that you guys do as well. Yes, so we do to... a lot of our own events and we are growing that continually. Um, we have... Uh, pumpkin patch mm -hmm. uh, going on even as we speak. Uh, we just completed the first weekend of our 17th year of doing oh, wow. pumpkin patch. Next weekend it's back. The weekend after 
uh, October 3rd, we're doing the world's first pumpkin head fest. Oh, wow. That's Oktoberfest, only we're doing it seashore style and shipyard style. Nice, uh, nice. Shipyard is our partner in that. And so that's uh, another event. That, so you absolutely. house a lot of events that are going on. There. Yes, all season long we try to have a, a variety of things that will appeal to people of all ages and interests. And we're also dog friendly. Uh, so going back to weddings or other family events if you want to have your dog there as part or dogs as part of your special, special evening we know they're part of the family nice so that's a great great feature to have too how many um does the property hold like for do you have an allotment like x amount 250 or well a tented event uh one tent probably 250 people nice. is, so it's a big is space. easy um, because we have fields for parking wow so excellent. So your space is actually really big, and so that that allows you to have larger weddings or larger corporate. And I I think the Charlie Museum would be great too for um, team building. Yeah, because I think it would be a great corporate Absolutely. outing. Absolutely. So keep that in mind too when you're when you're scouting out events as well. Do you offer um, the venue for rehearsal? as well as yes. weddings so if they need it the next uh, day? Rehearsal dinners, absolutely. Okay. Also, if someone rents with us, they receive a pass for each guest oh, wow. to visit the museum during the weekend of their event. So every guest would have that as well. So that's a nice little feature to put in bags. That if you're doing bags at the hotel and people are looking for activities, you're giving them tickets so they can go right out there and explore before the wedding. And even if you choose to have your rehearsal dinner uh, and your wedding elsewhere, we do bulk purchase of uh, bulk sale of tickets. So if you want your guests to have an opportunity to visit the museum as one of the activities you've planned for them for the weekend, wow, we'll sell those at a discount. And DJs, bands, how about music? Uh, um, is that certain it, levels of how it has to be turned off, on? Uh, no, it's, it's very easy. Um, we have to abide by uh, the rules of the local mm -hmm. municipality, of yep. course, but there's plenty of space for music and plenty of room to set up a dance tent. Now, when you're holding ceremonies, have you designated or carved out sections that you say, I love this part of the property for weddings? I mean, have you, have you thought of that? Well, there are a number of places where a ceremony could be perfect. Mm -hmm. uh, the interior of a car, if you have a small, intimate oh, that wedding. That would be nice. Uh, if you have a larger group, uh, then a trip out to the end of the line, um, your guests can stay right on the car in comfort while the bridal couple steps off onto a platform for the ceremony. Um, or the waiting area where people board the trolley right beside the visitor center a great area. is a great area or even in the exhibit room. I the love the, the field one because you, you take this train ride out to it and you get to this field. I mm -hmm. think that that's just beautiful. I just yes. like that whole experience that it has become an experience to get to your wedding. Yes. So I, I love that fact that you have that there. Mm -hmm. when, how do clients um, find you? Like, do they find you on the internet, website? How, how does that work? Um, well, we, we do have a small amount of promotion on our website, uh, word of mouth. Uh, we leave our material out promoting the site all the time. So guests who come in, and I think that those are really the um, target prospects or people who've been to the Trolley Museum, see what it is and appreciate what it is and then become interested in having their own private party there. If you've never been there, you can't begin to imagine. So yeah, it's, it's really incredible. It really is stepping back in time and I love having those kind of things because your guests will appreciate it because it gives them an activity mm. to do something at the wedding as well. I mean, it, you know, they're dancing and they're drinking, but it also gives them time to explore something that m they might not have, have mm -hmm. ridden. And I, I remember trolleys from Philadelphia, so mm -hmm. I remember riding them with my parents. How long in advance do clients have um, to book you? Like, do they book a year in advance? How does that work for you? Well, they definitely need to be thinking a year in advance yeah. at minimum because we're building our own private events for yeah. the uh, museum a year out. Mm -hmm. You know, my 2016 so season is pretty well nailed yeah. down. Uh, so the weekends that are dedicated to what we have to do as a museum uh, leave a limited number of weekends for others. I'm going to click on some pictures because this is my favorite um, 
picture here, and that's at the entrance, and I forget what the, the building is the called. The building is called Tower C, and it came from the Boston Elevated System Wow. Um, by barge, and the building is clad in copper. That's why it has that beautiful green patina, yeah. and was designed by a nephew of Longfellow. Oh, wow, incredible. And is it a workable building? Are you able to go inside, or are you working Well, at on this point in time, uh, we're not using the interior as an exhibit. Okay. That is in our plans, in our and it's a tiny building, which you, you don't see from this No, it's a, and it's a beautiful building. I, I've, I've always said that from day one. It makes a great shot, and I, Cindy and Chris from C.A. Smith took this photo, and it's beautiful. Um, I just think it's a, just a great shot. I love the way it, she's just... It's my favorite yeah. thing I, on the seashore campus. <laughs> And then this is a great shot too. I think that this is just phenomenal. I just, the, the fact that they're both so modern looking next mm -hmm. to these. <laughs> these are buses, not trolleys, right? Yes. So these are buses. So. And Seashore Trolley Museum is actually a museum of mass transit. Oh, wow. People often say, what's with the buses? Well, buses replaced trolleys as a means of moving large numbers of people in many uh, cities where trolleys had reigned supreme buses took over. So we have a representative sample of buses as well as trolleys. I love the fact that her flowers um, match the, <laughs> the, the, the bus. I think it's really just clever. The whole thing is just, it's just beautiful. Uh -huh. And like I said in, in the beginning, I said these are really wonderful backdrops that you can't find. Everybody gets married in front of the ocean. Everybody gets married in mm -hmm. front of a church. Everybody gets married in front of rock. This just adds a completely different element to your wedding. I mm -hmm. just think is, is incredible. That's a wonderful shot. Uh, that is actually a volunteer um, operator that is beside the bridal couple. Uh, he was very happy to be in and the, the photo, photo as well. So, uh, and the, you can see the building in the back too, yes. which is you can see the how large that building is there. I mean, imagine having a uniformed uh, operator as part of your bridal. <laughs> exactly. Party. This is a great shot. Is this um, part of the pumpkin? No, event? that actually uh, is set up for a wedding reception oh, wow. right Incredible. on the platform. Nice, nice. So you can see the potential of that brick patio where on a normal day people are waiting oh, for the trolley and you have that gorgeous that's gorgeous a great trolley shot too that is not this one that's that's another that um, is an open car an open car and that's so, what you were talking about going up to the fields yes. the open cars hold more people typically than a closed car does. and you can see the actual wedding cuz you're not being blocked yeah so that's and they're a great cool idea. i mean they're they're cool, metaphorically, <laughs> but um, they're called breezers because as you're zipping along on a hot summer day, they're cool and comfortable. That's, That's a, a beautiful interior shot. And when I mentioned earlier that it, you almost feel like you're in a chapel mm -hmm. inside these vintage yeah. cars with their polished interiors. And these would this would be great for like smaller weddings, you know, yes. 30, 40 person weddings, which are second marriages, sometimes mm -hmm. third. Mm -hmm. That's a perfect, perfect, perfect location to do a wedding like yes. that. It's intimate. You're not going to see that anywhere else. It's not going to be in a magazine. It's completely yours. You can own it. I, I love that. The cars are almost all set up differently too. So if there's a particular sort of seating arrangement that you're partial to, then we've probably got a car that can accommodate that. And this was the old ticket? That's a ticket booth, a uh, copper ticket booth in our lobby. That, oh, wow. Again, you want to talk about photo ops. Um, the bridal couple could get in there. And take photos. Um, and, and have that be part of the was that, a, did that come from another yes. museum or another location? Uh, it came from, a, from an actual station. An actual station, yes. wow. Incredible. And this is a, a great shot from the speakeasy yes. this year. Yes, um, as was, was uh, wonderful. Blue Elephant Yay. and uh, nice Seashore Trolley Museum have produced two Seashore Trolley speakeasies together, 2014-2015. Uh, and I thought this shot really typified it, really uh, what an evening event using that barn could be like. And there's no reason why a thematic evening like that has to be a museum event. Mm -hmm. It can be a private event. It can be a private event, and it's, and it's beautiful. And the trolleys that are housed in that barn are spectacular. They mm -hmm. really are, and they just really show a, an, an interesting collection that you have, just beautiful. And most of the light that you see in that picture is from the the lights that are on the cars themselves. So there is overhead lighting in that barn, but the cars are illuminated from within.
That's a great shot. That that's everybody arriving to the to the speakeasy, right? Yes. That's that yeah, that was from 2015. Um, and we used uh, a Boston car for that evening. And you can see from the smiles on the guests' faces what a great time that they having. are enjoying it. So, I, you know, it, it's interesting because I love having new venues to do mm -hmm. events. I mean, are you excited? Is, is, is your whole team at the museum excited too to house, you know, this influx of new new ven a venue that you're having that yes. is going uh, coming through? Our members and volunteers love Seashore Charlie Museum. And one of the things they do to show that love is they want to share it with as many people as they can get there. So whether people are arriving for a special event or a regular day or a private event, our members and volunteers are happy to share the collection and the history. Any exciting plans for the for the new year or you know in the future, like things that are going to be changing, mm -hmm. things that are going to be added on? Well, anybody that missed the speakeasies, sorry. <laughs> you <laughs> More stuff you to lose. come. <laughs> um, we're moving on. We've got some uh, really great period uh, events planned for 2016 and beyond. Uh, we certainly hope that Blue Elephant will be part of that with us. Uh, we work with uh, a number of caterers and um, florists and professionals who can help make events very special at Seashore. And which and also helps with the marketing of the, of the museum because mm -hmm. with the more people that you have on your, because you have a vendor page obviously, yes. preferred DJs and caterers and yeah. people that work there. And, and it's all, always good to, it, it's great to find somebody you want to bring in, but it's also good to have a preferred list only because there are people who know the property, That's which helps very, a lot. Very important. So, you know, as long as you clear it with Sally and you want to bring in your own caterer, if that's what you want, just call Sally and she can help you with, with that and give the caterer a walk around or mm -hmm. a walk through. But it's good because you can also network. It becomes a, a really good tool for the museum because all of us should actually put you on their pages yes. so that you sort of fan out and that way there's more that Absolutely. you keep seeing that. So I think it's a really good idea to have something like that yeah. for you because it's good. They also have a great gift shop there, um, I've, I've found numerous stuff for Sophia, but you know, she's, she's easy to buy for. Um, I, I think we did a, a ice cream one, one too. Or is that part, is oh, that attached to the pumpkin the, one? The sunset and um, that, ice cream trolley. We did that with a couple of friends of ours who brought their girls in from mm -hmm. California and we actually had a really good time. Mm -hmm. And on that particular train ride, I think we went to the field, I kept noticing that she was fidgeting with her finger and I didn't realize that she had just gotten engaged. They're uh, from California, so the wedding uh -huh. was in California. I said, did you just get engaged? It was, <laughs> on, it was at the Seashore Trolley Museum. So it was real interesting because I think around that time is when you were planning to do, you know, bringing in weddings yeah. and things like that, which yeah. is a great idea. We uh, closed at the end of October, but we reopened for the two weeks of Prelude. Okay. And so the two weekend Friday, Saturday, Sunday of Prelude, we're back. Oh, wow. And on the two Friday nights after dark, we send out an open car. It's a Montreal sightseeing car. Oh, wow. Uh, in a golden chariot ride. And then you come back and have a couple cocktails and appetizers. So these are all events that you can look, and I'm going to assume that these are all on your website? Yes. So look on their website if you're looking for stuff to do. It's it's great stuff, great activities. It's it's a wonderful thing to take your kids out to see because it's a it's a era that's bygone, mm -hmm. and I think we really need them to see it because it's really going to preserve it for future generations to see, and we really appreciate it because I have a fond memory of trolleys, so I think... Well, everybody it. from Philadelphia does, actually. Yeah. Yeah, because it's um, which uh, is what it was what we, what we what we what we rode. <laughs> so it was, my husband's from Philly. So he you, took you, me to the museum uh, to show me trolleys. Yeah. That, so he it's, is the one that got me there. Yeah. It's it's a it's an interesting um, remembering that time in that period, and you know I I sur surely enjoy the fact of having weddings there mm -hmm. because it takes it to the next level, and I can't stress that enough that I think weddings need. A little bit more. I mean, barns are wonderful. I'm not saying anything negative about that. I just think that having you know something unique like this mm -hmm. is phenomenal. The excitement of having a, a, that and all of the potential of photos throughout that entire place yeah. is just great. So I appreciate you coming on the show today. I'm very glad to be here. If you're looking for any information at the end of the show, all of it will be there. 
um, if you have a Facebook page yet for Charlie Museum, oh, yes. Yes. like them on Facebook yes. and look for them on their website. As always, thank you for joining us on Main Wedding Buzz. See you, everybody. Bye.